guys, it's been a while since we've uh, we've taken a drive in the Bolt, so I figured I would just give you a quick show off. This is using the latest version of the OPGM fork. Um, I would like to point <coughs> out that what we've just done, uh, shifting lanes into a construction zone, is something that uh, uh, Super Cruise GMs couldn't handle. We're going 82 and we're coming up on some people going slower. What happened? Oh, look at this. Open Pilot effectively slowed us down using regenerative braking. And it's maintaining that kind of long two second following distance. OPGM, I would argue, oh, let's see what happens here. The road's confusing. And it did the right thing. Woohoo! OPGM has reached a level of maturity as of today in my mind that I would recommend it over any other branches if you're driving a Bolt. I also am all really close to being able to recommend people jumping back in. You have to get a comma three. Now, uh, I will. I wouldn't recommend <laughs> wasting money on, on a comma two or any of the older hardware. I do hope to backport my work to four comma twos, so don't worry uh, too much. The mount, I'm using actually my comma two mount. I don't know if you can see that. I found out that the, uh, the comma three mount is just it's the same the same width as the as the comma two mount. It just not doesn't go back as far. So I can swap this out for a comma two at will. All right, we got another uh, construction shift coming up. Look forward to seeing how Open Pilot handles it. I have not. Um, I haven't done anything other than initiating lane changes since I left. And that's been approximately a half an hour so far on this trip. One of the benefits of the, the change that came in, um, the last update did have this change, but I, I, uh, I had some things in it that made it only work with my specific car. It broke with other cars. Is theoretically, if I switch out of out of single pedal mode and I switch it so it doesn't have that regen braking, it should not dramatically affect the tune. So I'm gonna do it right now. Boom! I did it. So what I felt was the car just slow down a tiny, 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 like tiniest bit and then continue. So now we are going in drive mode. We don't have regen braking. I'm going to go ahead and hit the gas to artificially get us going too fast and just see what happens. All right, we're going too fast. We're coasting now, max coast. But there was enough distance that we were able to slow down without hitting the car in front of us. Now, if I switch it into L mode, see it wanted to be braking. It just started applying the brakes because it wants to get our speed matching. It wants to get us two seconds away from that truck and our speed matching that of the truck. So it slowed us down to 44 and now it should start increasing slowly, which it is doing. And now we're back up to 62. We are essentially matching that far off lead car's speed. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the gas, come up on the truck, let go and see what the, what happens. So open pilot has our, we're doing max regen now, I think. Okay, 60 kilowatts of regen. And that regen, it's regen, now it's starting to let up because we've got to the right distance and speed and now we are matching speeds. Just incredible. In my opinion, watching this stuff, watching this stuff, I get uh, I get a kick out of it. In 
2019, when I got this car, boy, I was in a bad place. Um, and I stayed in that bad place for a good while. I still go there from time to time, but a lot less than I used to. When I first started working on this was the thing. It was the only, we'll call it, light in a, in a darkened life. At least that I could see. I, I, I had blinded myself, I guess, to the good things around me. Working with Open Pilot got me out of the pits, you know, which that's why I got so upset when I got banned the first time. I got too, too, too attached. And I am attached to my code. I've declared myself the benevolent dictator for life of OPGM, at least until I finish my goals, my tasks. Uh, we have a sports car behind us right now, so uh, so I am uh, shortening up the following distance. Very important that you, there's a toggle in the settings now that um, is now officially supported as part of Open Pilot that will allow it to not engage when you push the gas. I'm sorry, not disengage. It used to just disengage. Yeah. So everything's better now in that regard. It's not a hack anymore. It used to be a hack that I had done. It's now it's now built in. I decided I got tired of the Mustang riding my rear end, so I'll just deal with the slow lane for now. There he is, Mr. Fast. Lovely curves. It's working well enough that while I would never do it, um, I would I would feel safe playing Candy Crush. Now the comma is not going to let you do that because it's watching your eyes. Uh, it'll yell at you if you do it. Although I guess if you held the phone up at the top of the wheel, it might not. <laughs> Anyway, the point is, uh, for quite some time since I've, I've been working on this, it's been white knuckle, and if it wasn't white knuckle, it was at the very least uh, having to maintain um, more attention, I would argue, than uh, normal because of the risk of something glitching. My faith in Open Pilot's ability to keep me safe, so long as there are lane markers and, you know, the camera's not obscured, my faith is pretty strong right now. And this is a car that is not supported by comma, <laughs> using a method, using a method of detecting distance that's not supported by comma, and a method of running the gas pedal actuators that's not supported by comma. Some of this may change. Okay, this is good. Uh, the way that I have this set up, uh, we have only disabled the stock functionality that's absolutely required to be disabled. Presently, that is just the lane keep assist messages from the stock camera. We block those messages, Open Pilot sets its own. So, for the most part, we are getting all the rest of the messages that are sent by Baron Von Stock camera up here. Um, so the lead car indicator light, that's actually coming from the stock camera, not open pilot. Following distance, that's coming from the stock camera. It's not following distance, it's a, it's a time. It's the time to run into the car in front of you. What I'm hoping is that we will be able to read that output and we use that to union with the VO, the vision only adaptive cruise and smooth out the following distance, get it more accurate and greatly increase the likelihood of comma accepting 
uh, the functionality being upstream. All right, there is just one last uh, thing I want you guys to see, then uh, we will conclude this video. So while I'm waiting, I I keep forgetting to give my shout out to Very Lucky Guy. Thanks for being awesome. Also, got to give a huge thanks to uh, Twil Sanko. Um, he has been a tremendous asset to the the GM, the Open Pilot GM, as well as the OPGM community. He will most likely eventually be the lead developer for OPGM after we've merged code bases and I have finished the port and the big basic foundational stuff. He's very good. In half a mile. Sorry about that. He's very good at uh, fixing complex problems and understanding the math behind this quickly. He understands math in like seconds that takes me hours to figure out. So thank you, Tim. All right, I'm on the exits. And I wanna see if I can show you stop and go. I may not be able to at the exit though. Let's engage, turn it down. No, I don't think this is gonna work. Okay, let us try stop and go. I have the set point at 34. We are in a turn lane approaching a stopped car. Oh, look at that, we're slowing down. I'm gonna actually increase that set point to like 40. So here, we get the warning steer unavailable below five miles per hour, which is it's technically true. And we are stopped and holding. I didn't touch the brake. I didn't do anything. And this is not, not a bad distance in my opinion either. All right, uh, you don't need to sit and wait at the red light. Oh, I, I do want to mention though, uh, maybe you didn't see it, but compared to the last time I tried to demonstrate stop and go, uh, previously it would come in way too hot and I always had to help. It is not like that anymore. Um, it slows, it, it sees the car pretty far off and starts slowing down. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Little bit, little hesitant, little, ah, good work. I'm not gonna need help with the turn, but. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was cool. So I'm just, I'm just, Pardon my excitement, but that's the best stop and go I've had, too. I, I usually don't let it go. I, I take over, and I had a little faith this time. All right, we should be coming up on another opportunity to slam into the back end of a car. Let's see what happens. I may have to help this time. We're, yeah, we're coming in too, way too hot. Yep. Now, this situation right here, we're, we're on a downhill slope. We were going like 45 and just a few seconds away from the car in front. Uh, friction brakes are necessary. This is where my hijacking of the auto emergency braking would kick in. And now I want to point out the car's auto emergency braking is still functional. So theoretically the car would have stopped. It just would have slammed on the brakes at the very last second. That's how AEB works with GM. I don't know, maybe most cars. All right, now we're... So here we are on a, this is a 35 mile an hour road. We're going a little, a little bit above the speed limit, but just a little bit. Coming up on some stopped cars. Is it gonna slow down in time? didn't it didn't okay well I am going to fix that like I said um, I've got a much better handle on how the auto emergency braking works and I'm thinking I will be able to it, it, it may not sound or feel nice in the car 
uh, not not nice like smoothly pushing a brake, but it will prevent you from running into the car in front of you and, and provide the necessary stopping power. Once I've got that in place, this system is going to be ready to work for pretty much any car uh, that has lane keep assist from GM. Doesn't have to have adaptive cruise. It needs to have both lane keep assist and auto emergency braking. Generally, those features come hand in hand. So, anyway, you've seen it. I hope you thought it was as awesome as I did. I hope you're as excited as I am. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. If you can chip in a few bucks, I definitely need them, and it's always greatly appreciated. And thanks for the bucks that have been chipped in those so ah, thus far. Have a great day, guys.